is a Meteo Mark weather show update, weather told through the eyes of Mark here at Meteo Mark. Let's take a look at our most important weather topic of the day, which is tropical storm, almost Hurricane Karen here. Karen continues to uh, towards the north and eventually the northeast here, just skimming the northern part of Yucatan earlier, and will continue towards the north. You can see here across much of western panhandle of Florida over towards New Orleans. That is the area where the cone is greatest. The threat will be greatest, so all preparations to protect life and property should be rushed to completion in these areas. So be very wary here if you are in these areas, especially low-lying areas along the coast. Please heed those warnings and watches, which I'll go over here in advisories here from uh, Western Panhandle, Florida, particularly Pensacola, over towards New Orleans. This is where the storm will bend more towards the west. You can see this high pressure to the east will block and actually keep the peninsula of Florida itself in a very good position to uh, keep the system to the west. It'll have to go around the periphery of this high pressure system. So at probably tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday morning, it'll almost look like it's targeting New Orleans, but then it'll bend further east back towards the panhandle of Florida and portions of southern uh, Alabama and Mississippi. So be wary of that, be aware of that, and the system will then continue up towards the Appalachians. Let's spread that uh, cone of uncertainty out here, particularly once it gets to the southern Appalachians here, then it'll eject further up the I-95 corridor, a little bit further east than expected, but the good news is, I'm gonna show you on the scenario map, this system is gonna be a much more progressive than originally thought, which means less flooding. So many of you can breathe a sigh of relief with this system as it heads northeast. Other than that, this is pretty much what we're looking at here. The models are pretty much clear cut and dry at this point, so we don't have too many surprises or uncertainties with the system. The models are doing a very excellent job with this system, so very good here. Let's take a look at that scenario map, but before we do, I wanna show you the, wa the warnings and advisories going on here. Panhandle, Florida, over towards north, southeastern part of New Orleans, just e east and south of New Orleans. That's where we're seeing the hurricane warnings in effect, hurricane watches slash warnings. I'm sure any watch will go to a warning, especially as the system nears the coastline, which could be as early as uh, 7 a.m. on Sunday morning or as early as the middle of the night on Saturday night for that matter, or as late as noon on Sunday. So that time frame, we're gonna be watching the landfall along the uh, north central Gulf of Mexico. So be aware of that, that's what we're gonna be looking for. And those heed these tropical storm warnings for the city of New Orleans itself over just east of Pensacola here, more towards the Panhandle of Florida. That's what we're looking at for watches, warnings, and advisories. Let's head right on into uh, the scenario map. We have that trough digging across the plains, giving a blizzard-like conditions, but what I'm really focused on at this point is Karen, where Karen's gonna go. You can see Saturday morning into Sunday morning here. This is where in the Northeast, we have that overrunning warm front, and that's gonna promote clouds and showers. So you'll already be getting rain here across portions of the Northeast, well ahead of Karen. Karen will just add to that rain, heading on up towards Monday for Washington, D.C. Tuesday for New York City and points westward, we'll see that heavy rain. Wednesday for northern and central and eastern New England, where we'll see those heavier rains from what's the remnants of Karen by that time. So that's what we're looking at here for the scenario map. The good news is this cold front here across the Ohio Valley that's going to cause severe weather too across portions of the southern Great Lakes and central Midwest on Friday into Saturday will be a very progressive cold front and help to push Karen much further east much quicker. So those of you in the mid-Atlantic, northeast, and the Appalachians can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that this system is not going to sit there and spin and drop tremendous amounts of rain. Now we will still see heavy rainfall amounts. Let's take a look at that rainfall map. I'm really focused here along the Gulf Coast where we could see those eight to 12 inch rainfall amounts, particularly New Orleans, eastern part of New Orleans, heading over towards Slidell and extending over towards Mobile. Pensacola could see upwards of six to 10 inches of rain. And of course, that system will head up towards Georgia, the Carolinas, just east of the Appalachians, up the I-81 corridor towards Washington DC, Harrisburg, extending up towards Philly and New York City, and eventually por portions of Albany could end up with 
rainfall amounts on the order of two to four inches out of this system. One to three inch amounts further north and west towards uh, Binghamton, Elmira, Syracuse with isolated amounts to four inches possible. So we'll continue to watch that scenario play out as it interacts with this front. It will be interesting to see since this will be a quick moving front. I'm hoping this allows the system to be very progressive. So that's what we're looking at for the scenario and the rainfall amounts. You can see most of these rainfall amounts will be associated with that blizzard and the severe weather in the north central plains here and another sweet system coming into the north pacific northwest. Other than that I'll keep you up to date here at MediaMark Weather Studios. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. Here's a five-day forecast for my hometown viewers in the Susquehanna region of the southern tier of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Take a look at this. Friday, we're encountering a warm front, overrunning precipitation, showers and thunderstorms possibly likely by afternoon, looking at highs quite nice in the mid-70s. It's Saturday. Saturday was supposed to be your nicest day, but we'll still have that chance of showers and thunderstorms hanging around. Sunday looks like the worst day. Showers and thunderstorms developing later in the day. And then Monday into Tuesday, that's where we really start getting into the remnant moisture of Karen which could be a widespread soaking one to three inches with locally higher amounts, especially more towards and south of the New York, Pennsylvania border, Catskills and Poconos could I get upwards of three, maybe four inches of heavy rain. That's gonna do it here at Media Mark.